Hey guys, Andy TV here with some more Pokemon Crystal. We're back here in Union Cave because there's a few things I want to do. Basically, this is part of my big backtracking session since now I have Surf. And yeah, it's just this episode. The next, and the next two are gonna be the last ones before I advance the story or move on to the actual next part of the game because this is all optional stuff. And, yeah, you surf to get to this area, and these two trainers are probably the most, I don't know, like, the trainers that we're going to be fighting here is probably going to be, like, the biggest challenge I've had so far in this game. I mean, we're facing things like Marowak here. But I came prepared. Also, video is post-commentary. I don't, I don't care. I don't need to mention that all the time. But, since we're in this new part, there's a new Pokemon- No, wait, no, it's in the next floor, I believe. Yeah. Next floor? Well, uh, I'll talk about it anyway, since this little room that I'm in is really short. Like, there's just one more trainer left, and then the ladder is right next to him. But yeah, the, n the new Pokemon we can find here is Golbat. Golbat, I'm using one right now, it's alright. I mean, it doesn't learn that many good moves, but once it evolves into Crobat, which is through happiness, it becomes really better. I mean, it gets better in the later generations, but Crobat is still interesting to use. It's very fast, and its, it's attacking stats are decent enough to work by. <laughs> Go away. But yeah. So... That's pretty much it. There's also a new Pokemon here, and I uh, this video was recorded on a Friday, and the Pokemon I'm looking for can only be found on Friday. I don't plan on using it on my team, but I will catch it. Also, I have a Water Stone, but I mentioned that last episode. Do, 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 do. Okay, just surf along, and right there, see? That's like the right, but that's the next area. Oh yeah, also, wild battles are cut out in this video. Just because this would have been like 25 minutes if I didn't do that, so yeah. Okay, so this trainer, this one is really challenging if you're going in like right after you get Surf. Because he has a Kangaskhan. Very, it's a very strong Pokemon to deal with. Especially in 6th gen where it gets its mega evolution. Which is so overpowered. But here, it's a bit easier to deal with, kind of, even though I'm three levels behind it, and Crasher. Crasher basically met his match here. I mean, Genghis Khan gave Crasher quite a bit of trouble. But that Mega Punch missed, and that's basically what allowed me to win. No, seriously. Crasher couldn't have taken that out if both of the, if that mega punch miss or if that mega punch didn't miss but it did so yeah and Kangaskhan gives a lot of experience okay then Calvin is not dead but I beat him oh yeah I don't think I ever mentioned this but you can't use the phone option in the Pokegear while you're inside a cave. I mean, it, it makes sense, there's no cell phone reception inside caves. So, yeah. And I'm just reordering my party around. And just head down here. This floor is pretty big. And there's one, two, three trainers down here for me to fight. And a wild battle to cut out. I don't even remember what that was. Oh well. And elixir, that is a very nice item. I have a few of those. It restores the PP of all of your moves by 10. Yeah. It's a very useful item, but you can't buy them, of course, because that'd be broken. So, it's kind of understandable that you can't buy them. So, I usually don't use them. They're in the too good to use section of my items. 
Oh, this trainer, I remember him. Okay, wild battle. He's gonna say something about two trainers having... Uh, two types of trainers. Those that have style, and those that don't. And this is the first cool trainer we're gonna be fighting. Yeah, cool trainer Nick. Cool trainers, they... They later got named to Ace Trainers in the later generations, but they are generally the best trainers in the game. Because they don't stick to one type, they use a variety of Pokemon. And generally, like they're... Oh, I just said it, they're generally the best trainers that you find in the games. Holds true, especially in the later generations when the AI is a lot better with the Ace Trainers. So yeah. And you get to see some interesting things. I mean, trainers don't usually have all three Kanto starters like this guy does. And Leaf can take care of this Squirtle. Oh, wow. Level 26. Yeah, my Pokemon are lower level than that. Except for Nightwing. Nightwing is still level 27. It's just, this whole place is going to be used for getting my team caught up with Nightwing. Kind of. Kind of. Okay, Bulbasaur. You are going to be taken down by Crasher. And... Yeah, that's not going to take care of it. That's not going to take it down. Ooh, Leech Seed. Leech Seed is a very good move. I mean, in-game it's alright, but competitively... Yeah, competitively if it's used more. It deals one or yeah, it does one eighth of your HP in terms of damage and at the end of the turn. And you get that HP restored from your own health. It drains an eighth of your opponent's HP. That's a better way of explaining it. Okay then, so what is the next Oh, I remember that wild battle. It was a it was Eradicate, and it somehow took down Leaf. I don't know how, but... Oh well, it happens. It happens. And a Hyper Potion. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to be using Hyper Potions for a bit, because they're really good items. I mean, 200 HP and... None of my Pokemon have that much right now, so it'd be a waste. And this is another cool trainer. And if you look at her trainer sprite right there, it's what inspired the... Uh, the cool trainer's overworld sprite in the Generation 3 games. Ruby's, Ruby and Sapphire, at least. Which I can just show right here. Now I'm going to need to find an image of the Cool Trainer Sprite. Oh well. And this trainer has the three Eevee evolutions from the first generation, as well as Eevee. And my Eevee, although I would like it to take care of this one, mine is just not strong enough to take care of it. So that's a shame. But our Arcana grew to level 24, that's nice. The Flareon. You know what? Flareon sucks. So, Crasher, you can take care of this. And... We're actually pretty close to that Pokemon that I was talking about. Okay, one more strength. And this Flareon is down. Let's see what is next. Vaporeon. Vaporeon I like a lot. I've used the Vaporeon before. And I have a shiny one in... In white version. That I hatched in platinum. I think. I don't remember. Okay, wow. This Union Cave is... Pretty big. And... Yeah, this is pretty much going to be the last video in Union Cave, so yay, because this place don't really feel like going back here, except I have to, 
and I'll explain that a little bit later. Actually, no. There's another section of Union Cave that leads to the ruins of Alf, and I'm going to be visiting that off-screen a few times just to get to the different sections. But that's going to be in the next episode. Spoilers, kind of, except not really. Ooh, tail, tail whip missed. Okay. And this isn't the last trainer. There's one more trainer in this section of Union Cave. But all together, there's, in the one section of Union Cave that I haven't explored yet, there's two trainers over there. So that is something to look forward to, I guess. I mean, it's a lot of experience fighting all these trainers, which is good. Experience is very nice. Okay, then. And there's one more trainer here. So I'm just going to switch Leaf out to the front, even though Arcana is lagging behind a bit. But it's kind of understandable because this trainer, I can use Leaf's Razor Leaf against. And this trainer only has one Pokemon. It is a Poliwhirl. Yeah, see, that's why I had Leaf out. Because Leaf can do Razor Leaf on these things. No, I just realized I have that Water Stone. And I could use it to evolve my Eevee into a Vaporeon. But I don't want to use Vaporeon in this Let's Play. Maybe one day I will do a recorded thingy where I use a Vaporeon. But as for now, no. I'm not going to be using one. It's a shame. But Vaporeon is really good. Okay then. And now I'm just going to... Yeah. This is that Pokemon that she was mentioning. And... There is a small little cut there. But that was just to heal and whatnot. Because see this thing? That is the Pokemon that I am going to be catching. It is a wild Lapras. Only appears every Friday, so you can catch multiples if you want. But Lapras, it's very good. It has a lot of HP. It is very bulky, and even offensively, it's it's pretty nice. I mean, you can learn things like Surf, Psychic, Thunderbolt, Ice Beam. You can put things to sleep with Sing. It has Body Slam, too, for paralyzing things. And I'm... I like Lapras a lot. I used one in the very old Fire Red run through, which was very fun. Yeah, Lapras is very cool. I like it a lot. Oh, didn't catch it there. So, if you want to use one, go for it, and it's going to be very, very helpful. And Lapras's design is really cool. It just reminds me of the Loch Ness monster, even though no one's ever seen it. I mean, I don't know. Lapras, just the way it looks, it just, it's what I picture the Loch Ness Monster to look like, and I used to be obsessed with it, but enough of that, just on with catching Lapras here, and is this gonna catch? No. Yeah, Lapras, very useful Pokemon. I'm probably just gonna use put this in my party as an HM slave because you could learn quite a lot of things. You can learn surf, strength, maybe flash. I'm not sure about that. So yeah, I might switch out Psyduck for that. Just because Labrys looks a lot cooler. And it's a higher level, so it, it's gonna be more useful in the long run. Okay, we almost done there. I think this is the ball that catches Lapras. No. Okay, I was wrong. Okay, growl at me if you want. It's not gonna do a thing. I don't even know what Lapras's catch rate is. And off screen, I'm gonna need to buy some more Pokeballs. Because I'm gonna need some. Okay, that's the ball that catches it. Okay. Gentle Pokemon loves to give people rides and provide a very comfortable way to get around. 
That is very awesome. And now I can cut to the new part of Union Cave. Well, not new. We've been down in this floor before, but we can actually surf to the other side. And there's two trainers in this room. They're the last two trainers in Union Cave. And, and this is one of them. Okay. What do you know? A visitor. Oh, okay. Guess he's trapped down here or something. He has two Pokemon. Leonard. For a second there, I thought it said Leonardo, because I have a friend named Leonardo. I also have a friend named Michelangelo. But not one named Donatello. And my name's not Raphael, either. Hmm. I need to find a friend named Donatello. That way I can say I know the three Ninja Turtles, and I can say I'm almost a Ninja Turtle. Okay, Machop, that's next, and you know what? It's gonna be fighting type versus fighting type. Level 25, okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. But I have strength and you probably don't. Okay, Karate Chop. Okay, that's not very effective on me because I'm part bug. So, ha! Now, these two trainers down here I always thought were interesting because just because of their lines of dialogue I mean let's see let's just talk to him yeah he lives down here and yeah he lives he lives down here and then there's this trainer here it's been a while since I last saw another person but there's a person right there so either this guy just never noticed them or he's been standing there for a long time. I don't know, I always thought that was weird. And Leaf is out front because, of course, usually hikers have rock types to take advantage of. And... Okay, Geodude is taken down. Oh wait, I remember this guy. He has another Geodude and he has its evolved form Graveler. Well, that's not going to make a difference at all because Razor Leaf can take these things down like no problem. Okay, that's Judo down. And Graveler. Meh. I don't know, something about Graveler just... I don't know, I mean, there was a Graveler in Rock Tunnel in the first generation that's scared me or traumatized me, but oh well. Okay. And now yeah, it's been lost for a long time. Okay. So these two parts lead to ruins of Alf. And I'm only gonna be showing me going through one entrance, but I will be going through both off screen, which will be done in the next episode and all that. And for this one, you need strength to get through, but luckily I got that earlier than I should have. But, uh, yeah. Gonna go through there. And this is the first entrance I'm gonna be going through. And I'm gonna get interrupted by a wild battle right here. Yeah, I can see the future. But, yeah. Next episode, we're gonna explore the more, more of the ruins of Alf. So, later.